There's some things that get lost in translation. And to me, that's where the body comes in. That's where I move my hands, you know? And I think dance is that, that place in between where you can express anything with your body. And I, it's, to me, as an observer, it's just so magical. Kristen here with an interview from Sundance Film Festival 2022. We are chatting with Gabriela Ortega and Shakira Barrera, who are the director and star of the short film Huella. Enjoy a conversation. Gabriela, I'd love to start with you and just hear about like what inspired the short film and you know, kind of what it took to bring it to the screen. It was a combination of things. I wrote it right before the pandemic started as a treatment. And what inspired me in that moment was the sort of stories I was collecting from my mom and my grandma from the Dominican Republic. I always sort of do a, a bit of a scavenger hunt when I go home. And one of them was like the story about my mom running away uh, when she got in trouble one day to like be a nun at, at a church and just like little things that that made me see my mom in a different light because you know at one point you start getting to know your parents as almost friends or as real people and so I was just very inspired by their journeys and and I come from a, lo a line of very strong women and I think that's what sort of you know built me into who I am today like my grandma had four daughters and she was a single mom pretty much and so that made me see this image of like this sort of chain of women supporting each other, almost like like a very visual, almost like a dream. And I was like, wow, what is that? And I started exploring what that made me feel. And I sort of came up with this concept of this immigrant woman sort of inspired in sort of my own experience. But then when the pandemic hit, the sort of framing of grief and loneliness and and not being there and not being able to say goodbye to the people that we love really sort of started to shape. And it, it kind of kept me sane and creative in the middle of, of 2020 to, to write this and sort of, it was very cathartic, you know, to, to write it and also do sort of like a visual treatment of it as well. You also worked as part of Lena Waithe's Rising Voice program for emerging directors. So what was that like? I applied to Rising Voices with the short film Way, yeah. And I didn't think it was going to get in because again, you read it on the page and it's like, who's going to give me money to do this? This is like, <laughs> so like I need, you know, I, I don't think this is like, this is the thing I shelve and I bring back when I have like a name in the industry or whatever. Um, but it, crazy enough, Lena Waithe, the people that Indeed, Rishi Rajani at Hillman Grad, they are walking the walk. They're about what they say. They're about bringing people up. And they picked me and nine other directors of color and we made these 10, ten short films and that's how Weya was made. And since that program and, and, and building that community, I've just, it, it's been a game changer for me. You know, I've, I've been making films and, and, you know, putting my own money in things and, and doing things with friends and asking for favors, but having Weya to be a calling card and say, Hey, this is what I can do when you give me support has been incredible and, and we've had a beautiful journey with it and now being here at Sundance is insane and, and I'm just so grateful to them. That's amazing. I love seeing, you know, people help bring up other people. But now for you, Shakira, what brought you into the short film? I love telling the story. Uh, Gabriela, uh, we had met at our mutual friend Henry's table read. He was having a pilot and he wanted us to read his characters, you know, to workshop it. So Gabby was reading one of the parts for him and I was reading another. So we had loosely met through the table read and then she slid in my DMs on Instagram and she was like, hey girl, I have this project, you know, I think you'd be perfect for it. This really eloquent DM, you know, um, she's like, and I wanted to offer you the lead role. And she kind of told me loosely about it. She goes, the offer is going to come, you know, tomorrow through your agents, but I just wanted to kind of reach out myself. And I was like, Okay. I was like, we'll see, because in this industry, you know, it's not real until you sign something, you know, there's so many factors that can happen. So personally me, I don't like to get excited about something, especially something that I really want to do. So I kind of suppressed everything. Next day, the offer came in and I was like, wow, this is insane. I read the script. I loved it. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was, you know, ask her 
about my my Spanish. I wanted to be as authentic as possible. And and Gabby and I just hit it off immediately. And it just has been honestly magic ever since. And and now we're here at Sundance. The power of social media is like it's DMs, you never as know. long as you're not creepy though. You're yeah, not, don't, you're be creepy. Creepy. don't be creepy. Don't be creepy. It was like dear Shakira, you know, it's like a yeah. letter <laughs> over DM. <here. laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> funny. Yeah. And, you know, now this film, you know, has a really big focus on grief and ancestors and dance. Can mm -hmm. you talk about what it was like bringing all those um, elements together and why flamenco dance? I'm a lover of dance. I think if in another life, I would have loved to be a ballerina. And in Dominican Republic growing up, you I, I did go to dance until I was like in fourth grade. I wasn't really good. I wasn't gifted. I wasn't gifted, you know? Um, but it was always like on one side you had the ballerinas with the like tight, tight buns and the flamenco girls with the best posture of your life and like the little tick, 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 the heels. Mm -hmm. And so what I, you know, I've always been sort of this observer and what I loved about flamenco was how it could be very masculine and feminine at the same time. And I love working with opposing forces. And to me, the women in my family and in the structure of my country and the machismo of my country, they've always been in that line of the masculine and the feminine. And they've always been fighting, like walking that tightrope, you know? So that was why flamenco. And then uh, Shakira can speak more to this because she is an, an incredible dancer. But I, I think as an immigrant, you, I moved to this country and English is my second language, but I also have been here enough where like, I don't know how to talk about my art in Spanish sometimes because I work so much in English. And so there's some things that get lost in translation. And to me, that's where the body comes in. That's where I move my hands, you know? And I think dance is that, that place in between where you can express anything with your body. And I, it's, to me, as an observer, it's just so magical. Um, and and Shakira, I know that you have your whole relationship to your body and dance. So I don't know if you want to say anything about that too. Yeah, for me, I think it's, you know, exactly what you said. It's, it's a, sometimes you don't have words for how you feel in, especially when you're grieving. I mean, me personally, I just kind of shut down. So I think it's a way to, you know, not shut down and honor how you're feeling. And I and I do feel most like myself when I am expressing, you know, myself through dance. But to pick flamenco is, um, you know, as <laughs> to pick flamenco is is was such a, a bold choice, I have to say. It's not common. It's not something that is studied. You know, normally people know more jazz, tap you know, more in that vein um, when they're younger. So to, to do flamenco is a very bold choice, but I can't see the short being anything else. I mean, Gabby and I were laughing and we're like, imagine if it was merengue, like how can you express, you know, it's just flamenco is the right feeling. It's that like passion. Yes, it's passion and it's it's grounded, but at the same time, it's free, you know? So I, I think that's exactly the, the perfect dance for what Daniela is going through in the short. And you play the castanets and you have been a flamenco yeah. dancer for 10 years. And it's just like, I knew she could dance. I didn't know. I was like, she can dance. She can probably pick up flamenco. And then she was like, girl, no, I've done, I did it for 10 years. I play. She like brought her castanets to the Zoom. And like, look, look, I have them. Yeah. She was like, oh, I didn't know you had that. You could really do it. I was like, no, no, we're here. We're doing it. Whatever you need, we were doing it. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then it brings even more authenticity because you you have that in you for like the last 10 years. That's exactly, amazing. Exactly, exactly, Kristen. And I think like there's something so special that happened because you're not studying to be something. It, it already was ingrained in me. And with the time that we had to make the short, you know, we had four days. We, it was so ambitious that it just had to be there. You know, it had to be there. So I, I applaud Gabby for like having the courage to DM, for having the courage to write it, for having the courage to be bold. And like, it just shows that when you follow your gut and you're, you know, you're going and you're, you're just, your head is in it, that it magical things can happen. I think that we've 
just seen a lot of discussion in general in the Latino community in the entertainment space. And so I'm curious for you guys, like, what is your relationship like with your Latin heritage? And do you feel an obligation to kind of like represent that in the work that you're doing? 100%. I think as as an immigrant and as a Dominican woman, I feel a responsibility to paint Dominicans in a positive light and authentically. I'm also very aware of the anti-blackness in our community. And so I want to I want to reject those notions and I want to make art that is inclusive and reflective of the community I grew up with because Dominican Republic is so mixed. It's primarily black and you know that's something I don't want to shy away from and also want to uplift new people, you know, new voices, new blood. Like what can we say about ourselves that's beyond this box we've been putting, you know? And I, I'm that's all my work. Even if it's not Dominican, it's Dominican. For me, I think that being an indigenous woman, you know, who is very aware of our representation on screen, I'm Nicaragüense. Nicaragua has no representation, you know, little to no representation. Yeah, um, and as an indigenous woman who's also aware of the anti-blackness in our community with a Dominican director, I think that just that message was always important to us to 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 just tell a good story. That that first and foremost, tell a good story, honor our roots. We know where we're coming from, but of, of course the responsibility is there. I mean you know, when you don't see enough of what you want, you you tend to put it on your shoulders. But I think that we focused on the work and it just speaks for itself. You know, let's just tell amazing stories. Let's tell different Latino stories. And, and I think that that's where we're, you know, that's in the direction that we're headed and it's exciting. The fact that you guys are able to tell like such a beautiful story, but also bring your authentic backgrounds, like that is just so powerful. What do you hope for this film after Sundance? Like what is next for you guys? We're hoping for a feature. We're hoping for a feature. We're hoping for people to see us and see our team and hire us because we're ready. Um, <laughs> and we have a lot of stories to tell. It's not just way yet. We have so many things that we can just pull out. So mm -hmm. we're ready. And you know where to find us. It's not that hard. For me, I hope the same thing, honestly. And and just for people to to give us that opportunity. We know the conversation. Let's take some action towards, you know, telling our stories and, and supporting each other. And and yeah, let's put our money where our mouth is. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!